Hi, my name's Tish. I am a pharmacist at Terry White Kemart in Sunbury. With asthma, you use puffers or medications, whether that's been prescribed by your specialist or your GP. They come in a range of different shapes and sizes in the medication themselves. But a basic puffer looks like this. So the way that this one's used is you give it a shake. Before you use it, you give it a spray so you can make sure the medicine's coming out. And then how we'd use a puffer is you would breathe all the way out, empty your lungs, put your mouth around this end bit here and as you press no, no, you no. breathe in and hold your breath for up to 10 seconds if you can and then you breathe normally that is usually the way that you would use a puffer however we do recommend to use it with a spacer it just makes the coordination and the breathing a lot easier and it helps the medicine to get into the lungs a lot further so same concept however it goes in like this and once you spray it stays in the chamber until you breathe out. So you put your lips around this end, you breathe in and you breathe out, just regular breaths back and forth and we usually say four breaths. So it's one puff and then four breaths in and out and you repeat that depending on how many puffs you need. So there are many different puffers you can get with prescriptions from your GP or your specialist. It just depends what medicine is working best for you, which puffers you need to use. Some have got powder in them, some are sprays and it depends on the person and how their lungs are and how they would prefer to use a puffer. So we've got, like I showed you before, we've got the spray. So that's a preventer. Same way, take the lid off and you spray. A different one would be a powdered one. So twist the bottom back and forth and you breathe in the powder. And then another one would be same again. You would twist it, press the button and you would breathe in. So the way that asthma works using preventers, you want to help the lungs breathe normally. So with asthma, naturally their lungs can get a bit inflamed, that's why we wheeze, that's why we cough, um, whether that's just everyday exercise or it's you know just waking up in the morning. So these can be controlled by preventers so it stops that inflammation from the get-go so you don't get to the point where you're coughing or wheezing and hopefully not needing to use a reliever puffer. So with our, any customer or patient of ours, if they come in and they do have asthma, been diagnosed with asthma, we can sit down with them and review their medication. We can go through techniques with their puffers to make sure that they're being used the best way possible. Um, and if they have questions or they feel like something's not working, we can always make, make recommendations back to their doctor in case something needs to be updated. We would also help to write an asthma plan, which can be done with a GP in conjunction with a pharmacist as well. And it just goes through step by step what's done each day in emergency situations with asthma. If everyday situations, you would just use your puffer normally. And then if you're exercising or unwell, you might need to change those steps. So we can set a plan through like that. If you need some help with your asthma and your um, preventers and your medication, and, and if it's just too overwhelming, they can sit down with us at any point in the day and we can go through each and every step with them, write a step-by-step -step guide, we can put a plan together and then we can refer them back to their doctor.